Good morning. We shall read the entrance sentiment for the Mass today. O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let us ask God to forgive our sins and to make us worthy to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess, and you, my brothers and sisters, in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Keep your family safe, O Lord, with unfailing care, that relying solely on the hope of heavenly grace, they may be defended always by your protection. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God called to Adam and asked him, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat. The man replied, the woman whom you put here with me, she gave me fruit from the tree, so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, the serpent tricked me into it, so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl, and dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. To the woman he said, I will intensify the pangs of your childbirthing. In pain shall you bring forth children. Yet your urge shall be for your husband, and he shall be your master. To the man he said, Because you listened to your wife and ate from the tree of which I had forbidden you to eat, cursed be the ground because of you. In toil shall you eat its yield all the days of your life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth for, to you as you eat of the plants of the field. By the sweat of your face shall you get bread to eat until you return to the ground from which you were taken. For you are dirt, and to dirt you shall return. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all living. For the man and his wife, the God made leather garments with which he clothed them. Then the Lord God said, See, the man has become like one of us, knowing what is good and what is evil. Therefore, he must not be allowed to put out his hand to take fruit from the tree of life also, and thus eat of it and live forever. The Lord God therefore banished him from the Garden of Eden to till the ground from which he had been taken. When he expelled the man, he settled him east of the Garden of Eden, 
and he stationed the cherubim and the fiery revolving sword to guard the way to the tree of life. The word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm from Psalm 90. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Before the mountains were begotten and the earth and the world were brought forth, from everlasting to everlasting, you are God. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You turn men back to dust, saying, Return, O children of men. For a thousand years in your sight are as yesterday, now that it is past, or as a watch of the night. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. You make an end to them in their sleep. Next morning they are like the changing grass, which at dawn springs up anew, but at evening wilts and fades. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Teach us to number our days aright, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Return, O Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. In every age, O Lord, you have been our refuge. Alleluia, alleluia. <clears throat> One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In those days, when there were again was a great crowd without anything to eat, Jesus summoned the disciples and said, My heart is moved with pity for the crowd, because they have been with me now for three days and have nothing to eat. If I send them away hungry to their homes, they will collapse on the way. And some of them have come a great distance. His disciples answered, where, where can anyone get enough bread to satisfy them here in this deserted place? Still he asked them, how many loaves do you have? They replied, seven. He ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground. Then taking the seven loaves, he gave thanks, broke them, and gave them to his disciples to distribute, and they distributed them to the crowd. They also had few fish. He said the blessing over them and ordered them distributed also. They ate and were satisfied. They picked up fragments left over, seven baskets. There were about 4,000 people. He dismissed the crowd and got into the boat with his disciples and came to the region of Dalmoto. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> we have two multiplication of loaves in the Gospel. The most often what we hear is five loaves and two fish 5,000 men ate, and 12 baskets remaining were collected. And today, it's seven fish, and sorry, seven loaves of bread, and few fish, 4,000 men ate. And many biblical scholars believe these two might have happened at two different times. It's not one, it's not one miracle, but two happened in different times. But dear brothers and sisters, for our meditation today, we have two very, two very important points. The first one, God knows us. 
God knows us. In the gospel we heard, nobody went to Jesus and said, we are hungry, we are tired. But Jesus himself knows the flock. He sees them. There's nothing hiding for God. And he himself takes the initiative and tells his disciples, give them something to eat. They have been with me for three days, and if I send them back, they might collapse. They're weak. They need strength. They need to eat something. And some have come from a very long distance. So Jesus knows about his disciples. Jesus knows about us. In the first reading, Adam and Eve did what God told them not to do. They were shameful. They realized they have sinned. They went and hid themselves. God comes in search of them. Where are you? God knows where they are. They do not know where they are. Where are we now? Are we with God or hiding away from God? And Jesus asked the disciples, what can you give it to all these people? What they had was very ins insignificant. Seven loaves of bread, 4,000 men. But God wants what we can do. He, they bring them seven loaves and God blessed and there was multiplication and 4,000 men ate. If God had to do wonders in our life, we have to do what we can. We cannot be hiding. This is what I have. It may be very, very tiny, very insignificant. But if we can do what, what we could, God will do wonders in our life. That's what we see in the other miracle also. The, that little boy said, I have just five loaves. And Andrew says, what is it for so many people here? But we give what we have and trust in the power of God. Dear brothers and sisters, even in our daily life, if we ourselves can present ourselves in the presence of God, give what we have, God will receive it, bless it, and gives it to us hundredfold, sixtyfold, and thirtyfold. There's no point in hiding it, trying to protect it by, by our own self, because that will never be multiplied, that will never increase. Only in giving, we receive. That's the great examples we have. Today is Saturday. We remember Mary, our mother, a day dedicated to Blessed Mother. As she herself calls, I'm a lowly servant. I'm a simple girl. But she gave herself to God, and she became mother of God. That's what we see in Vincent de Paul. He gave what he had, and we have Vincent de Paul Society everywhere now. And then Mother Teresa of Calcutta, when she heard a call to leave the convent and come into the streets, what she had was few cents, not even few dollars, but she gave what she had, her time, her dedication. God bless. If we give to God, God will bless us in return, multifold. And now we shall all stand and pray for our needs. That the ears of Christians, sorry. Let's pray for the church. May the Lord protect her from all evil. We pray to the Lord. For governing officials, may God inspire them in enacting policies that afflict families. We pray to the Lord. For all who suffer from the violence of human dignity inherent in racism, we pray to the Lord. For this faith community, may we grow in holiness through the intercession of God's Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For all who have died, may they enjoy the splendor of God's eternal glory. We pray to the Lord. 
and so what else shall we pray now? Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We shall pray for Michael Hansen, for whose intention is Matthew's offered, that God might bless him with eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Almighty God, accept the prayers we have brought to you today. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice on yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> o Lord, our God, who once established these created things to sustain us in our frailty, grant we pray that they may become for us now the sacrament of eternal life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It's truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as a Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and was born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, <clears throat> heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Was on his. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood, of, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread, <laughs> therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. We shall pray for the coming of God's kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, and behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, you have willed that we be partakers in the one bread and one chalice. Grant as we pray, so to live that, made one in Christ, we may joyfully bear fruit for the salvation of the world, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended, we shall go in peace. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, all the evil spirits, 